Okay. Because if you don't. Oh, look, him following us. We stop, he stops. Yeah. Well, it's not his fault. It's his job. So he's not a bad guy. He's just doing because what he's he watches us. People watch him, and if he's not doing something, he'll get slain. Still well, I don't want that. But still, I do want to post this on the internet to see how creepy they are. He hasn't done anything nasty, so that's good. Hey, hi to YouTube. Yeah, I really don't want you to get in trouble, but it's still creepy. He want, he once rode his bicycle on my foot, and I punched him. Here we are. He moved, he moved. He said, well, you assault someone, have a Yeah, well, that sign tells you, right? The, um, oh, what's that little saying about, oh, you know, never fear to hurt another in a just cause? Just cause. Yeah. That's so true. that's what you did. Good job. <sighs> they, they couldn't get mad at you. You were following the tech. Oh, you guys are totally misunderstanding. So, it's all about affinity, oh. which is love. Okay. Reality, which is common sense, and communication, which of course, as you know, is just communication. So that's what it's all about. It's nothing bad. There's nothing really negative. I mean, how can you disagree with that? That's the totality. If you are protesting for a doctor, then you are protesting understanding. Wait, I don't get it. Are you being sarcastic or? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you didn't get it. <laughs> Have a good day. Maybe go on the internet and look at the other side though. Zenu.net is a good site. <laughs> Cause yeah, <laughs> I don't get your sense of humor yet. Well, see, there's a really nice sound on the part of Scientology. And then there's the real behavior of Scientology. Mm -hmm. So, Part of the fundamental nice sound of the ARC triangle. Oh, right, yeah. Infinity, it's it, it reality and communication. And those equal insufficient amount of understanding. So, so that's kind of a little bit. You know, once you come he's going to get me away from Lena against the famous Because they were sitting down and he said, private property. Can you go that? No, I don't want to go Have they seen anything? Ready to see You didn't say anything to you at all? No. Surprisingly, usually you're fast on the room. Oh, Mary the school has ever sat aside on my long page. So what do you think? Do you like my song? What's good? Tell them what you think. What do you think? Is that this? This is uh... Are you like my song? Girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a school. The AGP has to stay a hundred yards away from the school. Oh, ri oh, right, right. That's the one? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. He's got to stay. Well, actually, the court order said any Scientology school. Really? Anywhere. Yeah, so he has to stay a hundred yards away. I'll, I'll get in it, too. Hold on. Get in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone get in it. Thank you. Wait. Let's do it again. Okay, perfect. Thanks, guys. Sure. sure. Oh, we're all about the What's the Zenu.net? That's where we go? Yeah. Uh, while you protest, won't forget it, I'll get stuff. I like What I like brought you guys me. out? Like Scientology's abuses. Well, um, shutting off free speech. Well, for me, I was, um, it was Thank like you. their anti-psychiatry thing. Like, I knew a guy who we were actually... Anti-psychiatry, very homophobic. Yeah, homophobic. he um, wanted me to get off psych meds or else we couldn't be yeah, together. We were going to get married, you know what I mean? And um, when I wouldn't, I know, when I wouldn't, he was like, yeah, okay, I'm going to get married, you know? And married, so then, so then I mean, I just started, so this isn't, I just started to look into it. Like, he must not know how bad Scientology is, and I didn't either, right? And then... But he did, and so then when I found out stuff about it, I'm like, you know what, I can't I mean, just John sit Travolta around and not do anything. <laughs> you know, so... Um, yeah, it hasn't worked. <laughs> it hasn't didn't work. Work. I, you know, it's just like unbelievable. Wild. Yeah, it is. I mean, I see all the stuff online about how corrupted it is, and the alien belief, that's... that's well, I don't get it. Well, most of them don't know about that, because you have to pay a lot of money. That's OT3, you know? So, so I mean, really, if you went in there and said, well, who's Zenu? They would be like, what? And they would mean it, right? Because, yeah. I mean, you really, I mean, how many people do you think have gotten up to OT3? A lot. I mean, not as much Tom recently. Cruise. Yeah, definitely. Tom He's Cruise OT8. Definitely. Like, all, all those rich, like, John Travolta, they're up there. They, they know it. And 
you know? I mean, it's... And you get there by paying more money. Yeah. So it's just, oh my God. Yeah, this guy, Jason Begay, he was able to jump, what, to, like, I think the state of clear? What's yeah. that? Yeah, DVD. yeah. Okay. Oh, I mean, but what? It's uh, Anderson Cooper. Oh, oh, that, oh, that's oh. a good one. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Anderson Cooper did a whole series on Scientology and the abuse that goes on inside. And wow, good for him. Yeah. yeah. He did a great oh, and he's of course, on, they tried to slime him in response. Uh, it's so funny because <laughs> they have this um, site called Religious Freedom Watch, which they have a lot of their ex-Scientologists on there. Like, you know, they're like, oh, he's evil, and Anderson Cooper's on there. Like, Anderson Cooper's going to start because some cult is putting him on a website. Huh. Oh, you know, you scared him. And then this guy's following us. There's the they, security uh, guard. Basically, their response to Anderson Cooper doing, like, a pretty fair, uh, you know, expose on them was to say, that he shouldn't be listened to because he wears uh, designer cargo pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's a fair point, though. I mean, cargo pants? What the fuck? <laughs> all right, all right. That, that is kind of a crime, fashion crime, all of it. Yeah. Still, I mean, Still, come on. Yeah. That's the best they could come up with. It was. No, that's true. It's not a good rebuttal. No. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, I'm glad you guys are out here. Yeah. Well, That's thanks. Right. Well, What's thanks the purpose of the mask? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of things that's symbolic. Um, it's to identify with the nameless victims, the faceless victims of Scientology. It's also to basically try to discourage them from trying to attack us as individuals. Because they tend to, people protest, they tend to take pictures, they try to go out to people's homes, place of work, try to slime them, basically. But, but, saying, okay. yeah. but mostly, picture, they come up to me and shove a picture camera in my face and like, fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the no, funny thing. No, they no. do take pictures of us with the mask on. You're like, what are you doing with those? So it comes down to intimidation, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's weird. I, I mean, they're really, and they call themselves a church. That's the funny part. Oh, my word. Oh, I just sends shivers up my spine. Yeah, it really is. It's, uh, tell your friends. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. No, I've heard all the rumblings of it, and we're just we were so fascinated we came to walk around. Just well, hey, well, why not? I mean, I, um, yeah, no, I mean, they, you know, to me, like my theory is they don't. Part of the reason they don't spill all their beans is because it is it is sort of like morbidly, you know, interesting, you know. And so people come in like, what the fuck? That guy I was gonna marry, he went in there just like, oh, do to do like that. And so you know, people go in there for laughs, and that's cool. But every once in a while, you know, they get snags so Ooh, yeah I'm sure kids at the bus stop oh yeah That's, well this is where they bring them I mean this is <coughs> their, where they do all their training for people who go, go into the Sea Org which is they're like their Navy they're kind of Peace Corps well it's like their Navy but <laughs> They come in here and they birth them in those buildings over there that you see with all the shade mm -hmm. drawn up and they put them like 12 to a room. And yeah, bunk they, beds um, and They make bad them work food. on menial labor. They pay them like $40 a week. And if they get in and trouble... And they sign a billion yeah. year contract to say that they're going to stay with Scientology for the next billion years. What? Yeah, and the funny what? part is, yeah, yep. you have to, you'll, until you, you, you do it in this lifetime and then every time you come back. I mean, I don't know what happens. <laughs> well, Katie's got the advantage of getting some good, you know, lawyers. You know, the part of the reason they're saying now is that she left because of psychology. She didn't want her lawyer, you know, right. brought up as psychologist. So she's going to try to get custody of the kid. That's why she's doing it. Yeah. Right. So and the most corrupted part of Scientology, what would you say that is? Well, probably the Sea Org, because those people, once they get in, I mean, they have no way to get out. You know, they're cut off from all of their family. They're paid $50 a week, maybe. They've got, you know, so they've got no money. They take their driver's license from them. They take their passports if they yeah. bring them here from other countries. So if they want to leave here, they're on the streets with nowhere to go. That one guy that, was it, it's Sloan Parker, that's Mark Headley, right? Mark Headley, yeah. Headley, um, he was in Hemet, California, and um, he had to, like, escape on his motorcycle, and they chased him down, and finally he decided he would just, like, you know, make himself crash off the road. And he, like, he's like, well, I'll break my arm and stuff, but whatever. And luckily, what, someone, it was, like... Well, a cop. Yeah, like the cops like escorted him out of there. Like yeah. He was being chased down. I mean, it was it's really something. And eventually, his wife, um, his his wife like joined him. But that's another reason people don't leave because they're you're supposed to disconnect from people. If like someone leaves, like you aren't supposed to talk to them. It's their disconnection policy. Talk to them, see them, anything. 
So that's one thing. You see a lot of like sort of young teenage kids in here, but probably their parents are Scientologists. And if they left, like the parents would never talk to them again. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. So you know, I mean, it, it's really something. And you know, it's not like they're going to tell you this if you walk in there. Right. You know. So that's. Oh, now I gotta see inside. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta well, see how they. Well, no, 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 the facade. You'll probably the only, you'll probably only get as far as the front desk and all the brochures that they'll, you know, hand to you. You know, because that's what they are. They're just, they're a front desk with glossy books and brochures, you know, but once you get inside, it's something different. Okay. Well, I'm... Thank are you these all owned by Scientology? Probably a lot of them. That school right there is a Scientology school. So a lot of times they'll rent for, you know, people to live there, but mostly the birthing is in those buildings right there. That's where all their Sea Org staff. But then there's buildings down there, like the advanced organization, I mean, that, that big one, and then what that, there's like the flag service one to the left of that. Yep. I mean, it's really, this is like Mecca here. Well, that well Clearwater is the true Mecca, but this is... This is a big one. West Coast Mecca. <laughs> yeah. Clearwater? Florida. Florida. Uh -huh. Florida. They yeah. basically took over the whole town of Clearwater. Yeah, it's really, people there don't like that. And now it's a ghost town. Oh. It's all Sea Org just being bussed in every day from wherever they live. There, there's cameras everywhere. There's this guy, Darth Sander, on the internet, and he does videos of them. It's like the, he goes down there and he films the people. Like they come, they get on, they get off a bus in the morning from wherever they're staying, some piece of shit place, and then you know they get picked up and you see all these people. Some of them, I mean, they're of all ages, you know, from sort of like. I don't know if they actually do kids. If they, they have do kids. kids. He, he got a girl who was like eight years old. And, the, and then the people like who should be, should have a cane, they're all hunched over and everything. <laughs> and well, this other guy. Darth Xander? Darth Xander, yeah. Yeah, Darth Xander. Yeah, he's a good guy. Um, and even with him, they, they did this thing where he's really getting on their nerves. And so this one guy, he's out of Chicago, Darth Xander is, um, his real name's Alex. And he, they um, they said, hey Alex, how's your grandma? And they'd like sent flowers to oh, yeah, the grandma, right. like well, pretending, pretending um, like sort of this girl like delivered them and they implied that this was his girlfriend, you know. And so um, you know they were talking to the grandma and so then yeah they're like, so how did your grandma like the flowers? And he thought they were just bullshitting them, but then he found out and you know I mean so what's up with that? Wow. I know. And Tony Ortega from Village Voice has a lot of good stuff too. Yeah, he has a blog. Yeah, great stuff. Yeah. Check Village Voice out. Yeah. So. Oh man, well thank you guys yeah, for taking sure. the time to enlighten us. Oh yeah, well, cool. thanks for talking to us. We Can I take it. a picture of you too? I want to remember of course. this forever. Oh cool, that's Keep awesome. Keep informed. Okay. Zeno, Oh yeah, sorry, don't do that. Thank you, you guys. Thank You're you. Welcome. Wow, thank you. great. Uh, well, Have a good please, rest of your thank you. Okay, you too. Thanks. Yeah, no, really. Thank you. Wow.